Hey, hey, everybody. It's Monday and it is time for our Wealthy Wellness Business Basics training today. I am really, really excited to bring you this three-part series. This is something that is so important that um, I get across to you because there really are some very specific things that we want to focus in our wellness business that you're going to come back to over and over and over again. And so these are going to be pieces of the foundations that you really want to get locked and loaded in your business. And they don't need to be complicated, but this isn't something that they're taught you, right? That is taught to you inside of your training, right? Like it's not your fault that you don't know any of these specific basic pieces. And you may actually know some of them, but you might not have all three dialed in. And so what I really want to do is help you in this three-part training series. It's going to be today, it's going to be next Monday, and the following Monday, we're going to do three weeks right in a row. And we're going to talk about the three most important pillars for you to focus on if you want to start creating cash and income in your business. Really, really important. And typically when we look at business pillars, like what are the main things that you focus on in your business? There's actually six main things that you want to focus on overall. But until you are at six figures in your business, you really are going to focus on just three. And so the six pillars, I'm going to share with you all six. Then I'm going to share with you what are the three that I'm going to focus on in this three-part training so that you can start creating cash and income in your business in a way that feels really good and aligned for you. And, uh, and then we're going to dive in even more specifically into one of those three today. So if we take a look at what those six pillars are, the first pillar is mindset, right? And I'm going to talk more about that today. So if we take a look at what are the six main pillars that successful business owners and entrepreneurs double down and get all dialed in on, number one is going to be your mindset. So that is going to be one pillar, and that is going to be step one of the three steps that I'm going to share with you over the course of these three days. The second pillar is marketing. Everybody needs to be able to share their message, right? Marketing is not, does not need to be like some icky, you know, buy my stuff thing. Marketing is a way for you to get in front of your most ideal client so that you can show them how they can get the results that they are looking for. It's actually about them. It's not about you at all. And so marketing is going to be a really, really important piece that you double down on until you're at least at six figures in your business. And even then you're gonna come back to that, right? And then the third pillar that is where you wanna focus on over and over and over again, you're just gonna focus on these three pillars only, your mindset, your marketing, the third one is sales. Third one is sales because you have to make sales in your business if you wanna have a six-figure business, right? And yet there's so many different strategies out there on how to do that. So I'm gonna share with you multiple ways when we get to that, and that's gonna be on the third day. So today we're gonna to talk about mindset. Next Monday, we're gonna talk about marketing and my specific, uh, the nurture method, marketing piece that I actually teach inside of my Activate Abundance program. I'm gonna share with you what falls into that. And then sales. And so we have to have a sales system. We need to have a marketing system. We have to have a sales system. And we wanna have a mindset practice and routine that we double down on. So those are the three things that I'm going to be focusing on and what I'm going to be teaching you. However, there, I told you there were six pillars, right? And so the other pillars in a business are going to be finances. How are you managing the finances? Are you profitable? What are the different buckets that you want to make sure that you've got uh, money in and how that actually happens? What are your operations? So who's helping you on, on the back end and helping you create those operations? And delivery. How are you delivering your programs? How are you delivering your offers? And so that is something that, uh, you know, makes a complete, profitable, um, sustainable business. But until you are creating consistent income in your business, until you are at consistent, you know, 10K in your business at the six figure mark or somewhere between eight and 10K, we'll, we'll bring you at uh, 100K in your business. Until you're there, you want to focus on just the three that I mentioned earlier, your mindset, your marketing, how are you getting your message out in the world so that people can actually find you and get a result to the solution that they're looking for? And your sales, how are you enrolling new clients into your programs and your offers in a way that feels really good, natural, and aligned? Okay, so let's dive into today. And if this sounds good to you, please let me know. 
put in the comment section that you're here. Let me know that you can hear me. Let me know that you can see me okay. I should have asked that right from the very beginning, but just let me know that you're here. Type in hashtag live. If you are watching me live, type in hashtag replay. If you are watching this on replay and let me know where you're, where you're listening from. Let me know where in the world you are, right? We've got people all over the world. We've got people in the States. We've got people in Canada. We've got people in Italy. We've got people in Africa. We've got people in Europe and London and Scotland and Ireland and all over the place. It's so fun. This is one of the reasons why I love, love, love Facebook groups because you can actually be in community with people from all over the world. Okay, step one or pillar one rather, There's, this isn't a step, this is actually a pillar. And before you actually dive into your marketing or your sales pillar, you have to start with mindset. And I will be saying this over and over and over and over and over again. Mindset is not something that is a one and done. Mindset is something that is a muscle that you build on the daily, on the daily. Super duper important because your mindset affects the emotions that you feel, right? Your thoughts are going to create emotions, and it's going to have the, you know, you either feeling expansive and excited or contracted and fearful and doubtful, which will then lead to the, res the actions that you take or don't take. And those actions are then going to lead to results, right? So many of you know this thought model, um, and that is, you know, our thoughts create feelings, feelings create actions, actions create results. So if we're not getting the results that we want in our business right now, we can actually reverse engineer it, but we want to start at the level of who is it that we are being? What is our state of being? What is the energy that we are in? Are we in scarcity and we're trying to force things? We're trying to hustle. We're feeling like this isn't working. A client's not going to invest with me. I can't do this. This isn't possible, right? That is a state of being which is very fearful and doubtful. And you'll notice that what I was saying were actually thoughts. Those weren't facts. The words that I was using was just conveying an example of thoughts that happen in the background. And so if you are thinking those thoughts, if you're thinking this is hard, I can't do this, nobody's gonna work with me, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, I'm confused, I'm overwhelmed, all of those thoughts that you're thinking are going to create a feeling in your body. And I don't know about you, but just by me saying them, it creates a sense of contraction. Like I can even feel it in my throat, right? So when you're feeling fearful, when you're feeling contracted, when you're feeling scared, when you're feeling um, doubtful about your own abilities, then what happens is that you're not going to take action. You're not going to implement pieces. You're going to procrastinate. You are going to try to get things perfect and not take action. There's going to be multiple things that happen that are actually going to prevent you from creating the results that you want, right? So whenever we're feeling scared, we either disengage and freeze, right? We go into that fight or flight state of, I'm just not gonna do anything because I don't know what to do, right? Anybody else feel that way? Type in yes in the comments if you felt that way. I don't know what to do, I'm scared, and so I'm just not gonna do anything, right? Yeah, I know, I've been there too. It's okay, It's it happens to all of us. It's just part of our human brain. We don't wanna make a mistake. We don't wanna take the wrong action, right? But if we're thinking that there is a wrong action that we can take, Again, that makes us feel very fearful, that makes us feel very scared, that puts us in the energy of scarcity, not abundance. So this is why mindset is so important. Because if we don't start here, it doesn't matter what marketing strategy you use, and it doesn't matter what sales system you use, or whatever any tactic it is, no matter how somebody says that it's amazing, it will not work. Mindset is a key and being in the energy and choosing on purpose the energy that you want to be in. So if you want to feel confident and clear, then you have to start thinking thoughts that are gonna get create those feelings for you, such as, I can totally do this. I've done hard things before. I can figure this out. All I have to take is one step at a time. Um, I will ask questions and I will reach out for help and support, right? These are 
positive thoughts that are creating in your body a feeling of hope, a feeling of positivity, which will then allow you to take action, right? Action towards, you know what? I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not, but just let me try it, right? What if, what if you had the thought that nothing was broken? What if you had the thought that you could not get it wrong? If you had the thought that, you know what? I actually can't get this wrong. I'm just gonna try it and I'm gonna get feedback and see what happens, right? Chances are you're gonna take a lot more action in your business. And the place that coaches get stuck is in not implementing and taking action. And this is not a strategy system. It's not a marketing problem and it's not a sales problem. It's a mindset problem, right? The mindset is where we get to double down and go all in. And as a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why I have a mindset coach, not only for myself, but I have a mindset coach inside of Activate Abundance Academy. My friend Liz is amazing. Many of you might know her, Liz Nicholas. She does quarterly mindset sessions. She brings in the big guns. And I do monthly mindset sessions inside of Activate Abundance Academy as well because this state of being is so, so important. So here is a tip I wanna share with you. And this is something that all of my clients inside of Activate Abundance do daily, okay? This is daily is, well, actually there's two things I'm gonna share with you. One is weekly and one is daily. So let me start with weekly and then we'll, we'll come down to the daily. Weekly, every single Monday, today is Monday, we start every single Monday intentionally choosing the energy that you want to be in. What is the state of being that you want to be? How do you want to show up in the world this week? Choose it. You get to choose it. Even if you haven't created six figures yet, okay, but what would a six-figure coach do? What would she be? What would she be saying to herself? You have to be in the energy of a six-figure coach in order to create the results, which is six figures, right? So every single week, what energy are you choosing to be in? And so if you think about somebody who is already at the six-figure or higher mark, what is it that you think they say to themselves? What is, what, how are they showing up in the world? How are they showing up in the world? Are they showing up confident? Are they showing up empowered? Are they showing up? Uh, are they being visible? Are they sharing information? Are they inviting people to work with them? Are they investing in support? Like whatever it is, what state of being are you choosing to be in this week? Okay, and actually I would go as far as to say, this is something that you choose on a daily basis. When you wake up in the morning, the first question you should ask yourself is, how do I choose to show up in the world today? And who could I serve? Who could I serve? How am I gonna show up today and who could I serve? Okay, those two things, visibility and service equal abundance. Visibility and service equals abundance, okay? So we start with what is my intention for this week? How am I gonna show up in the world today? What energy am I choosing to be in? Am I choosing to be in scarcity, fear and doubt or am I choosing to be in clarity and certainty and confidence and empowerment and knowing that I can figure this out and knowing that I have support and knowing that I can just put one foot in front of the other and take these baby steps and learn as I go and get feedback, right? And on and on and on, which is then gonna allow you to actually create results in your business. So step one for you know setting yourself up for success in the mindset pillar for every week is what are you gonna choose this week? Step two, what are you declaring? What would you like to call into your business? And this is being very intentional in your mind of what is it that you would like to create? What you focus on grows. So if you focus on already having that which you want, then more of that is gonna to come to you versus focusing on what it is that you don't have. And yes, you, can, you have the choice. Look, you are constantly creating regardless of whether you know it or not. And you are either gonna create in the mode of abundance or you're gonna create in the mode of scarcity. But you're creating right now, even as I'm talking, even without you being intentional. And so I want you to start bringing some intention to what it is that you want to focus on. And that is, what are you calling in? What would you like to call in? Would you like a new client this week? Amazing. What does that feel like to have a brand new client? What does that feel like to have 10 new people join your Facebook group? What does it look like and sound like and feel like to have somebody pay you in full? That's a declaration. What are you calling in? Okay. And then the third piece comes into action. So again, 
your state of being. I am clear. I am confident. I am certain. I'm calling in a brand new client this week, and I'm so excited that I get to serve this person powerfully. It feels amazing knowing that I get to be well paid and help change somebody's health and life for the better, right? And now what is one action that you can take? What is one action? Inside of Activate Abundance, we focus on what are your one to three actions that you're going to take in your business, right? So what is it that you are going to take one action from the state of being, of being confident and certain and powerful and clear from the energetic state of having what it is that you already desire, feeling amazing to be able to do this work in the world, to be able to serve people powerfully, to be able to help people create healthier, happier lives, and to be well paid by doing that. That is that feeling that you want to take action from. And then what is one action that you could take to propel you towards that goal? Just one. Okay. So this is why mindset is so important. So we do this inside of Activate Abundance every single Monday. So it's important that you not only have an amazing mindset, but you also have got some support and accountability along the way, right? So we create some accountability there. Okay. Daily, you also get to choose. You get to choose what energy are you in. And this is something that I teach inside of the daily alignment practice. For those of you that want access to the daily alignment practice, I have it for free. You can download my workbook and the video that goes with it to guide you through what you want to focus on daily. Remember, mindset is a muscle. Just like if you wanted to build muscle or you wanted to build endurance, right? Let's think about running a marathon, right? If you wanted to go run a marathon, you would not run once a week or once a month, right? You would do something daily. You would do something daily that was going to allow you to train so that you could actually cross the finish line. Same thing is with your business and your mindset. Since mindset is a muscle, you need to focus on doing that every single day. If you do not have a routine right now or a daily alignment practice right now, then you are missing a critical component to having a six-figure business. Every successful coach, every successful business owner, every successful company has got a routine that allows them to step into the version of themselves with which they get to create and have what it is that they desire. Okay. So if you don't have that, let me know. Type, uh, type me in the chat and I will give you the link to the complimentary daily alignment practice in the workbook that goes with it. Okay, my friends. So you can see why this is so important. If you are missing this stool. If we think about a stool and three legs of the stool, one leg of the stool is your mindset. And if you're missing this piece, the stool will not be steady and it will fall over. The second leg of the stool we're going to talk about next week, and that is your marketing. How are you being visible? How are you showing up in service? Visibility and service, again, equals abundance, equals sales, visibility and service. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that next Monday at four o'clock, be sure to join me back here. Same place, same time, four o'clock. We're going to be diving into the nurture method and what is that marketing piece. Okay. And then the following, we're going to talk about sales. How do you actually partner with somebody? Not overcome them, not try to drag them across the finish line, not try to overpower them and muscle over objections or any of that crazy nonsense or aggressive sales tactics. How do you actually partner with somebody and help them get what it is that they want? And I actually call that enrollment. Enrollment is actually helping somebody get what it is that they want. And when you're helping somebody get what it is that they want, typically a sale will happen naturally instead of trying to get the client, right? Trying to drag them across the finish line, trying to sell your 90 day program or your package or whatever it is, right? That is such a harsh, aggressive, grow way of trying to build and grow a business. Can it work? Sure, it can work. It's not going to feel great. And chances are it's not going to be a profitable or sustainable way to build and grow your business. Because if it doesn't feel great for you, you're not going to continue doing it. Right? So if all of this sounds amazing, I want you to type yes. Type yes. Be sure to come back. Again, marketing, we're going to dial in next week sales we're going to dial in the following week and 
if you want support on this, if you know, like you know, like you know, you've been in my community here, you've watched some of the trainings, maybe you've even binged watched some of the Monday trainings that I have already here in this Facebook group, and you're like, yep, I'm ready for support. I'm ready for support. I'm ready for accountability. I'm ready to know what steps I need to take and what order and how to actually put all this together so that I can have a six-figure business, then I want you to reach out to me directly. Send me a message and just say, Chris, I want to chat. And I will hop on a quick clarity call with you so that I can learn more about you. I can learn more about you. What are your challenges? What's going on in your business? What's holding you back? And what are the next strategic steps that you'll want to take? And if it feels like a good fit, I'll invite you to work with me. I've got very limited one-on-one -on -one opening, so uh, that is a possibility. I also might you know, invite you into Activate Abundance, which is now a 12-month container for making sure that you get dialed in on all of your mindset, all of your marketing, all of your sales, and, uh, and those pieces that create a highly profitable and a sustainable business. Okay. All right, my friend. And again, if, I, if I'm not the right person for you or if I don't have what it is that you need, I guarantee you I will absolutely, you know, give you to somebody else. I will point you in the right direction. And again, this is a no obligation call. If, you know, if you're not ready for support, okay, not a problem. I will at least point you to a resource. I want to make sure that you walk away. Every single client that walks away from a clarity call with me has an action step and they know what to take. They're either going to go forward in one direction with support or they're going to go forward in another direction and find a resource that they need. And that's what I want for you because right now, my friend, sitting on the fence and doing nothing is not working. Sitting on the fence and doing nothing is not working. It will not help you build a successful business. And what I know about you is that you are here in this Facebook group. You're a wellness entrepreneur with heart. You are impact driven. You want to make the world a better place and you want to allow yourself to be well paid right? So that means that you need to make some decisions. And if support is one of them, let me know. Again, comment me, send me a direct message, say, Chris, I want to chat. I will just give you my scheduling link. We can book a quick 20 minute call so that I can hear more about what you're looking for and I'll guide you in the right direction. Okay, enough of that. Now, next week, come back here. We're going to be dialing in again on that second leg of the stool, which is marketing. Remember, three legs of the stool. You need marketing, mindset, and sales. If you're missing any one of those, it's going to be real. You won't get to six figures. If you don't have sales, you're not going to have a business. You're going to have an expensive hobby. If you're not sure what to do with your marketing, you're not going to be able to attract your ideal client. And if your mindset isn't dialed in, you're not going to be taking any of the actions that you need to in either one of those pillars to create success. All right, my friends, happy Monday. And let me know below what resonated for you. What is one thing that you are going to do around mindset within the next 24 hours? Within the next 24 hours, I really want you to take action here. What is it that you're going to do? One small baby step, tiny action that you can do to build that mindset muscle. Awesome. Okay, my friends, you have a great day. Bye.